All right, I'm gonna make this video here because I've searched all over the YouTube and internet for a video on how to remove the prop hub from a Continental A65 engine uh, with a tapered shaft here. Maybe I wasn't wording it right whenever I was punching it in, but who knows? But uh, anyways, I'm trying to take my uh, you know, take the prop hub here off and everything, so that way I can send my, I can split my crankcase and send all the parts out to uh, have them, you know, recertified and cleaned up and everything, and uh, you know, rebuilding, uh, or restoring uh, 1946 Piper G3 Cub. And uh, anyways. Here's what it is. I've been working on this thing all day long. I tried to take it off whenever I first took the engine off the airplane six or eight months ago. And uh, I, had, I just took the, the nuts off and pulled the prop and left the hub on the engine. So anyways, I tried everything to went and borrowed a friend's pulley puller and tried this, tried that, but you know, there's articles there you can find, but it says to uh, stick a five eighths bolt through here, a three or four inch bolt, and take a cheater bar and put on that bolt, turn it, and it says it's got about two, two to 225 pounds of torque on this nut. This is a, a nut that spins inside of this part here and there's a lock ring in here. Uh, so what I've done is I made uh, this here little deal I found on uh, on an article and what it is is uh, this slides into here there's a lock ring that is right up in here and there's a gap a half inch gap and this slides into there to keep that lock ring from squeezing together and popping out whenever you get it off. So anyways, what it is, I left this in here and uh, the prop, the hub ain't been off in about 20, 25 years. So I had to, I took and sprayed some PV blaster up in there and flipped the engine up on its back and let it run down and soak in, excuse me. But uh, anyhow, all you gotta do is make something like this or a wide flat head screwdriver or some, something that they're sticking there to keep that lock ring from flipping out on you. Then you will take your nut or your little lock screw here. It goes through this hole and into this hole when the nut is ran all the way up into here. Okay, so you'll take this out and then you can see the nut right here spins freely, all right? So once you get this out, this bolt, it's gonna turn about an eight to a quarter turn and then it's gonna stop. That's when you need to put a cheater bar, what I use with a tool iron through here, or your four inch bolt, whatever, put in there. And I just stood on that sucker and popped it loose and got the nut to break loose all the way, all right? Once I done that, I took a block of wood, put it on the back side of the prop. If you got a, a McCulley, you know, aluminum prop, if it was wood prop, tap on it right here, uh, you know, on front or whatever to try to pop it loose from the shaft in here. But I just done that and popped it a few times and then I just kept turning this nut and as you keep turning the nut, loosening up this nut right here, it's gonna back itself off of the shaft. It's just gonna slowly come off and then you're gonna be loose and you should, uh, look, I don't get stuck again now. <laughs> but, uh, there we go. But uh, anyway, bear with me a minute. Let's see if we can get it off here. Let me put my phone down for a second here. I'm sorry about this. I done. Oh, ha ha. I forgot to finish threading it all the way off. That's what I've done because I started it back on there for you so I can make this video. Uh, but anyway, you just keep backing your thread, your nut off, and then voila, it'll slide right off the shaft. So, 
Uh, and once you get it off, that's what the shaft is going to look like. It's just going to be threaded right there. And, uh, you know, uh, you got this keyway in here. But uh, other than that, it's pretty simple now that I know how it works. Uh, but anyways, just going to make that video and share that. Hope that helps anybody. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.